We are heading back all the way to FIFA 14. This is a retro rebuild of Leicester City. Down in the championship, who would have thought just a few years later in 2016, this club would be crowned Premier League champions. In this rebuild, we hope to do exactly that, but we have some rules to follow. Rule number one. We can only make a maximum of three signings per season. And we can only use the summer transfer window to make them signings. Rule number two. In this retro rebuild, our aim is to take Leicester City to the Premier League title. Winning an FA Cup, Carabao Cup or any other trophies is a bonus. Rule number three. Our final rule is that we can only use the transfer fund request feature once during the entire rebuild. So this is the default squad we are starting with and not many players will survive this rebuild. One player that might survive it is Kasper Schmeichel. Another could be Danny Drinkwater. And one player that is going nowhere during this rebuild is Jamie Vardy. Skinhead Jamie Vardy as well. On the bench, not much quality at all. Anthony Knockout though, might be one to keep your eye on. He does start with a minor injury. On the reserves, it is full of crap. We must move out some of this dead wood and then we can make some new signings of our own. Our biggest sales of the summer then boys, Sean St. Ledger to Blackburn for 400k and then Neil Dans to Charlton Athletic for 220,000. This was then followed up with our first summer signing, Lewis Dunk for 750k from Brighton. What a transfer this could turn out to be. Danny Ings, 21 years of age, from Burnley, 1.6 million pounds. He signs for Leicester City. Our third and final signing had to be done. 550k, Riyad Mahrez. There we go, boys. Three new signings. A whole lot of Deadwood out the door. And now it's time for the season to begin. We can only play cup finals, including playoff finals, boys. We will do a mid-season check-in. I'll see you on January 1st. Get in there, boys. Just what we needed. Just past the halfway stage. 25 championship games played here. We're on January the 1st. We have 55 points. Sees us into second place. Five points off league leaders, QPR. And then in the playoff places, Reading, Watford, Bolton and Blackpool just behind us. And just behind them, all the way down to 11th place, Brighton. It's just a three-point gap to reach in the top six. That is incredible to remain in an automatic place this season. The second half of the campaign will have to be perfect. And unfortunately, in the Carabao Cup, we were knocked out in the early stages by Southampton losing away from home two goals to one. They're in the semi-finals now. They could go on to win it. And a check-in then on our players at the halfway stage. Unbelievable season so far from this man, David Nugent. I thought he would be a bench player. He's turned out to be a super player in the start in 11 this campaign in the championship. 22 championship games played. 14 goals, 5 assists. That's 19 goal contributions in 22 championship games. He's on for player of the season. And another player who has been superb in this first half of the season is Kaspar Schmeichel. A lot of interest around him as well. He has played a fabulous role in this team. He has kept 10 10 clean sheets across all competitions, 9 of those coming in the Championship, boys. He is key to us reaching the Premier League. And here we go then, full steam ahead. I'll see you at the end of the season.
Mission accomplished, boys. We didn't just get automatic promotion. We won the championship league title. 106 points. See us as your league winners. Get in the first trophy for this retro rebuild. QPR remained in the top two. They dropped down to second place. And the playoffs, Reading, Wigan, Watford and Bolton. We'll check out who won the playoff final next. My goodness me, it was Bolton. They are officially back in the Premier League, defeating Watford at Wembley. One goal to nil. Moving back through the other competitions in the end, Man United beat Man City in a derby final for the Capital One Cup. They beat him on penalties 5-4. And in the FA Cup, Man United win it again, beating Arsenal 2-0. We did get to the round of 16, but got crushed. Four goals to nil to West Brom. Now, just checking in on the Premier League, Man United win the league title on 94 points. They complete the clean sweep domestically, winning the English treble, boys. Now, we know we are getting promoted to the Premier League. So are QPR and Bolton. But leaving the Premier League are Crystal Palace, Norwich City and Hull City. They drop back down to the Championship. The stats are off the charts, boys, for this first season. David Nugent, our top scorer, 17 goals, 5 assists. Closely followed, though, by Danny Ings, 16 goals, 10 assists. He is our top assister. Jamie Vardy had a fabulous season, 14 goals, 3 assists. And I would hate to miss out on Danny Drinkwater, Four goals, seven assists from midfield. Anthony Knockart as well. Ten goals, five assists. And then Riyad Mahrez. Sixteen goals, nine assists. A quite sensational attacking performance throughout this season from everyone. And we was just as good at the back. In the end, Schmeichel has 21 clean sheets. 19 of those. In the championship. What a stellar season boys. But that is done now. We know what we must do next. Improve. Because here we go. Season 2. Now we're in the big time. The Premier League. We must improve our starting 11. The budget we've been given though. Is measly. 9 million pounds. That is not going to go very far at all. We must sell players to sign better ones. And bad news, because we got to keep an eye on this, Schmeichel is considering his options. It looks like he might need a move away, meaning we would need to get a new first choice keeper. Not just that, our first choice left wing back, Jeffrey Schlupp, transfer request has been handed in, and the board have forced my hand. We must be sold. Thankfully, boys, we managed to get Kasper Schmeichel to sign a new bumper contract. Double his wages for four seasons. Schmeichel stays. The bad news, though, is that Jeffrey Schlupp, he has been sold to Blackburn Rovers for £1.2 million. A deal I didn't want to go through, but the board pushed it through and we lose our starting left back. And the only other sale this summer is Chris Wood, 1.2 million to QPR. Finally, some good news. Our first summer signing, Kieran Trippier. Just three million pounds from Burnley. He is gonna be a fantastic addition to the team. He's known as a right back, but we're gonna deploy him at left back. Welcome, signing number one for season two. Here in Trippier. And the player I had to add to this Leicester team was N'Golo Kante, boys. 450k. And then our other signing for this summer to wrap it all up, 3.2 million from West Ham. Welcome, Mohamed Diame. There we go. We have hit our limit. Four new signings. Three new players in. Bumps us up to a three and a half star football club. 
Welcome Trippier, welcome Diame, and welcome of course N'Golo Kante. A big season ahead, a difficult season ahead. All we want to do this season is avoid relegation. I'll see you at the midway point. Okay lads, halfway through the Premier League season and we are looking good so far. In 12th place, nowhere near the relegation places. At the bottom at the moment, Southampton, West Brom and Cardiff City, the teams that could be relegated. We must continue with our form. If we do, we will finish around the mid-table mark. At the top of the table, Chelsea and Man United locked level of 41 points. And unfortunate for us again in the Carabao Cup, knocked out in the round of 16. Swansea City beating us three goals to one. We were scoring for fun last season in the Championship, but this is the Premier League. And at the midway point, we have struggled for goals. Danny Ings, our top scorer, six in 18. He's also the top for assists. Four assists in all competitions. We had a massive injury blow right at the beginning of the season. David Nugent, he was on fire last year, but he done his ACL. He's been out for the majority of the season so far. But here we go, boys. Fast forward to the end of the season. That is incredible. In our first season back in the Premier League, we have finished in the top half. We have finished in seventh place. What a season we have had. I would say we've got the maximum we could have got from this season. Breaking into the top six would have been extremely difficult. Breaking into the top half was difficult. But seventh is brilliant, boys. Your league winners, Manchester United. Relegated this season, West Brom, Cardiff and Southampton. Now moving outside the Premier League, Man City win the FA Cup. They also won the Capital One Cup as well, boys. So they did a cup double. Now it's time to check out our players. Our player of the season, no doubt about it, our top goal scorer, Danny Ings. 17 goals in all competitions, nine assists in all competitions. He's our top scorer and our top assister this season. I have to give a shout out though to Jamie Vardy. What a season he has had as well. 12 goals and 6 assists. It's a good start back to the Premier League. But we're cracking on now. Season 3. And this season sees an improved transfer budget. New shiny signings incoming boys. £14 million to spend. We know we can improve that budget, and we do by making a sale for David Nugent, 1.4 million, to Sunderland. And boys, because we're losing Morgan at the end of the season due to retirement, we needed a new centre-back. Thiago Ilori from Liverpool is our first summer signing for 3.5 million pounds. And how about this one then, boys, for our second signing? For 8 million from Inter Milan, young Matteo Kovacic. Big money signing, and he comes in to the first 11 immediately. And to follow that up, we only had a little bit of money remaining after that Kovacic deal, so we signed Timo Werner from Stuttgart on a season long loan. Final bit of business is a sale of Zach Whitbread, a little bit of extra funds so we can renew some contracts here we go then the squad is set and ready and it looks a lot stronger than it has been so far Ilori coming in taking the captain's armband as our central defender our new leader as well in the midfield Kovacic comes in what an upgrade that is in the midfield our attack is very strong already but we've also improved it for the bench. Timo Werner is ready should we need him, boys. But the most important thing to mention for this season, the 2015-16 season is the year Leicester City won the Premier League. And it just shows what an incredible achievement that is because this team, I don't think we're going to quite make it this year, but we will try. Here we go then. I'll see you halfway through the season. 
Now this is what you call a start to the season. Halfway through 19 Premier League games played and we are in fourth place. We are in the Champions League places, boys. We have 11 wins, 5 draws, 3 defeats. That gives us 38 points. Actually level with third place, Liverpool. Man United leading the way at this stage. Of course, we've got the FA Cup to come in the second half of the season. Again, our luck is not in for the Capital One Cup. Losing, really disappointed with this one. 2-0 to Hull City. Although, they're on a mighty cup run. They're in the semi-final against Liverpool. Time to check out the midway point for our players. And shock, once again, it is Danny Ings who is carrying the team at the top end of the pitch. 11 goals in all comps, 6 assists as well. He's the leader for both of those yet again. Again, Jamie Vardy playing a crucial role as he's back up. 7 goals, 5 assists from him. And our star player, our big signing from the summer, slowly finding his feet in the Premier League. 3 goals. Five assists in all competitions. Boys, we're on a real good run. We could finish in the top four. We could even do a little bit more. Let's go to the end of the season. No way! We have done it! I can't believe this! What has happened here? Season three, Premier League champions, Leicester City! We have matched what they did in real life in the 2015-16 season. We have won the Premier League by 2 points, 84 points. We beat Man United to the title. We beat Chelsea to the title as well, who we were close behind. What has just happened? I am absolutely blown away. I hope you'd get top four, if not top six. We've won the league. That is insane, boys. Let's have a look in the FA Cup. In the FA Cup, oh, we got pumped in the quarterfinals. Tottenham Hotspur beating us 4-0. They then went on to beat the Arsenal and won the trophy 3-1 against West Brom. And then in the Capital One Cup, Chelsea beat Liverpool two goals to one. I'm still blown away by this. We have done it. The rebuild that I thought would take five or six seasons has been complete in three. Unbelievable. That is outrageous from Kasper Schmeichel. Now a 79 overall, by the way. 16 clean sheets this season in the Premier League. 17 in all comps. That is outrageous. And he actually has got an assist here in the FA Cup. Kasper Schmeichel. Wow. Wow. And we have to again talk about Danny Ings. What a season from him. 17 in all competitions, 12 assists in all competitions as well. He's our top scorer and our top assister again. He has been the best signing we have made. Maybe the best signing I have ever made. And this man, without a doubt, was the difference maker. What a signing. 82 overall, just 8 million from Inter Milan. He got 8 goals in all comps, 7 assists. He was a monster in the midfield. Consistent, concise. And he guided us to the Premier League. And boys, retro rebuild for Leicester City complete. I cannot believe how quick we got this one done. Just three seasons. We won the championship title. We then managed to finish in the top seven. And then we won the Premier League. What a fabulous rebuild. Some amazing signings. None other than Danny Ings. He has been outstanding. Our best signing by a country mile. He ends the rebuild then with a total of 50 goals, 31 assists. Our highest scorer, our highest assister, and our best player. Thank you for watching, boys. Until next time, dilly ding, dilly dong.